All right, so everyone doesn't like this menu, right? At least most people I've seen in any forum anywhere, they can't stand how the regular menu is just gone. Like you have to go in here and then if you want, you could hit space bar here, but it's not the same. It's like going through three or four different steps. So take a long look right here. I created a vintage modifier menu. This should be exactly like the previous menu and maybe even a little bit more spacious so you can get in here and then add all of your favorite modifiers, your subdivision surface, all these things, and you'll be able to just add them in. Now, where is this coming from? This is coming from the hard surface toolbox. So I'm going to upgrade this to 2.0.1 tonight so you guys can go in and get that. This is the pro version only. A free trial doesn't have this and what you'll be able to do you know is just whatever drop in your favorite mesh and then open up the vintage menu and look subdivision surface is right there i can't even tell you man i'm psyched about it it was the most tedious thing i have ever done in uh python period it was super tedious the menus to put that together like just appreciate it man because it <laughs> It was such a glorious pain. Uh, however, if you don't happen to have the hard service toolbox, I'm going to make a plug-in. Okay? It'll just be a separate little plug-in, and when you install the add-on, the only thing you're going to get is the vintage modifier menu. And that will be on my Gumroad because Blender Market takes a god-awful amount of time to approve anything. Now, we all love Blender. We love Blender Market. Uh, but there are just some things that really need to change. And so now, if you want to come in here and not have that same hassle, I mean, because it doesn't make a lot of sense. If you were to come here, you've got to search. That's one click. Well, actually, here you go. Let's do this. One click, two, sub, div, there it is. Then that's three, four, five, six, seven steps. That's seven clicks, right? opposed to the vintage menu one click and then you can start playing around with your subdivision surface however you wish so whereas we all love blender i don't know what the logic was behind this i've seen enough blender todays to know that these guys know what they're doing i love them with all my heart uh, i hope they don't beat me up for this but we need this vintage menu back so i'll make that available as soon as you guys are seeing this not only will it be upgraded for the hard surface toolbox, um, which is crazy cool, and if you don't have this thing yet, I mean, you literally can scale objects, store the scale, you can rotate it, store the rotation, iterate through, uh, you can store the location of every object in the scene, and then just kind of scrub through all of these different things. And I guess I didn't move that one. Uh, anyways, there we go. <laughs> and so all of that is possible. Control, right-click, context menu. This thing is ridiculous. You've got a lot to do here with uh, working with mirroring really quick. You can flip the normals on things. You can do the face orientation. You can show cavity right away. You can do your mirror apply. So if you wanted to do this Z positive to negative, you can do all that. And then just click your mirror button. and even though I just killed this model, no big deal. I think I could just uh, grab the mirror tool here, Z positive, negative tool it. There we go, whatever. Uh, anyways, you can do all that. So go over there and grab that. And plus, if you don't have it yet, you can jump over to my Blender Market page. Go all the way down to the bottom, and there's a free tutorial for beginners. This is just going to teach you the interface and some modeling tricks. It's going to show you a lot. There's like seven, eight plus hours, totally free. Go pick it up. If you like anything else you see, I've got the hard surface toolbox right here. I've now got a trial version, absolutely free. It's pretty cool. It's got a lot of the main features in it, but not all of them. Got one click proxy. You can just iterate every object in your scene and throw a proxy on. So I've got some really cool add-ons. Uh, this one is going to have the geometry nodes bevel set up in it. And no, it is not the official geometry nodes bevel, but like, hey, I just keep showing this thing because I want everybody to see it. You click this little bevel button right here. 
and it's going to automatically throw everything here into the or well, the plane into the collection so if you don't have it in the collection you'll have to put it there and then you can bring up the resolution of said bevel and then you can play around with said bevel and do all kind of cool stuff with it the profiles uh, here will allow you to change a bunch of things you can change the uh, radius and i know it does throw the shading off just a touch here and there but you get used to it play with it have fun and yeah that's it got rid of that annoying menu and now we got the vintage menu back guys guys i love this thing go pick up the add-on and if you don't want to get this one like i said i'll put the vintage menu on my gum road see you guys